Oh yeah, what's happening everybody? Jay Shockblast here. And check it out. We've got the Masters of Evil. Uh, the Masters of Evil DLC is available now. Shout out to my boy Jordan Hillis for the, letting me know I could get it at this very moment. We are on the Xbox One. Stay tuned. It shall be available on the PS4 and Wii U and, and Steam. Just be patient. If it's not there yet, just keep checking. It'll be there eventually. I do not know when it will be there. So, now that I've got that out of the way, don't ask or I'm going to smack you. Kidding. Anyway, uh, here we go. Baron Von Zemo. Uh, Baron Zemo, I guess, is just what we're calling him. And, uh, you know, he's got that acrobatic skill. He's got that sword. He is slicing. He is dicing. Pretty, uh, pretty useful character. Uh, he also spins with his sword. Woo! Boom. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool character. Uh, definitely looks really cool. Looks the part. Um, I definitely can appreciate what they did here. And he uh, likes to put his sword up in the air. I have the power! I want to see him do it again. He's going to do it. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Oh, this guy's going to wreck my shot. I know it. Oh, thought he was going to do it. There we go. Oh, no, he just puts his sword away. He's like, ah, oh, whatever. Yeah. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, uh, next up we have Whirlwind, who... Oh, look at that. Is he kind of a speedster? Nope, not a speedster. He does go a little bit fast, and I love the little tornado that's around him. That is really, really cool. Uh, you gotta admit, that is so dope. Um, so what he does do, though, is... Boom, 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 boom. Oh, and he leaves a little... Uh, Things of himself behind. He also does a little spinner Rooney. Oh, and he flies. Oh, look at that. All right, this is honestly, I was not expecting to love Whirlwind so much, but this might be one of my favorite characters in the game. When I redo my top 10, he is, I don't see any way he's not going to make it. Look at that. That is dope. I especially like the helicopter whirring noise. All right, so we've got Whirlwind. I think a lot of people are going to be very pleasantly surprised with Whirlwind. He looks really cool. I, they did a good job with him, man. Uh, I'm impressed. That's that's a good one. So uh, anyway, next to Baron Zemo, we have two versions of the Black Knight. This is the newer one, uh, I, th I believe, uh, Zane or Dane Whitman. And then you have Nathan Garrett. So we have both versions of the Black Knight. Here they are. They like to balance their sword. He has a jousting sword. He is acrobatic. He can do his uh, little thing. And... We need to find a vehicle station, um, which I might have to turn my, uh, I know where we can find one. So, um, Black Knight was one of the characters I had in my top 10 characters I was hoping would make it into the game, and it makes sense to have him here with the Masters of Evil. Uh, he has been associated as evil and, uh, good. In the past, um, I believe he's also an Avenger at one point. So we're just running, 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 running. I'm running over here. On God. <laughs> Ooh. Haha, <laughs> nice. Now, under the impression these guys have horses. 
I just happen to know where this station is over here. Now, I don't know how you get their horses, though. So let's go ahead and check this out. See, I'd already looked here, but I thought they had horses. Maybe you have to get them in their level. Um, but they don't have any vehicles here. So, anyway. We've got the two black knights. We are the knights that say, Nyeh. Nyeh. So they look really cool. I, I like them. I mean, definitely a, a cool look. The, the balancing the sword is kind of cute. So, there they are. The two black knights. So, moving on, we have the multitude online. And we also have the enchantress. The evil trickster herself. Looks like she puts a little bubble around her. I'll bet she does mind control. That wouldn't surprise me. But um, it's not really giving me that opportunity here. Um, yeah, so she's a sharp looking character. Uh, to go with her, we also have Executioner with his savage axe. He's very sluggish with the, the wave of the axe. Uh, he's got some brute strength. Kaboom. Ah, nice. He throws his axe. He's all about that life. Kachink. So yeah, there we go. We got another axe maniac, executioner, and the enchantress. There you go. Uh, next up, we have uh, Melter. Kind of dorky looking. Bet he melts stuff. Uh, uh, it's sort of a grenade. So, shoots things out of his chest. Trying to get into the light. So there you go, there's the melter. And next up we have, I think that's, oh no, we have Radioactive Man. So there he is. He kind of lights up, that's cool. He's like not constantly lit, but he's like slowly glowing. There's not a way to get him to like just go bright though, it looks like. Does not fly. Does not transform. But yeah, it's really cool how he just kinda like actually let's get him in the dark. It looks better in the dark. Look at that. That is a cool look. And last but not least, as part of this pack, we have Classic Thor. And we have Classic Iron Man. And both of these are disappointing. These are waste. These are both a waste of picks, okay? Um, and maybe they'll play into the story. I don't know yet. But absolutely unnecessary characters. I mean, I, I mean Thor doesn't even have his shield on. Or um, his helmet on. Like... 
we've seen both of these characters in the last game. Um, you know, I we did not need either one of them. Um, I would have much rather seen them include Wonder Man here and and have you know Marvel in um, you know Marvel the actual classic Captain Marvel in um, in this pack in the Captain Marvel pack. So yeah, both of these characters really don't do anything for me. I feel like they're completely redundant and we've already seen them and I just don't really understand why why they wasted their time with these two. Um, I gotta be honest, you know? Like, they're just not, they're not necessary. I think a lot of us, when we look at the DLC, we like seeing new characters that are have not been in the game at all. Um, and if you're gonna come with a, a new costume for a character, you gotta come better than this. Like, there's really nothing that differentiates, you know, that Thor all that much from, you know, either of these Thors, okay? So you've got Age of Ultron. I mean, what's really super different besides this chest piece and different shades of color and, and no beard, you know? Then you have Thor from the movie, uh, the first Avengers. Like, there's barely even any difference between those two, you know? Just the chest piece for the most part. So, could have really lived without these, but what can you do? Was not meant to be. Um, so, we got Baron Zemo, and we are going to go with Radioactive Man. Uh, those are the two characters we're looking at here. And I know there were some flying vehicles as part of this. Uh, Zemo has his own ship. So, uh, there, there we go. Okay, those are the horses. Uh, so here's Baron Zemo Helicraft. Which is a weird looking thing. Ugh. Wow. No guns. Just this corny, weird looking helicraft. I mean, it didn't take up a character slot, so, like, I'm not really complaining, but... Flying the vehicles in this game is really weird. Um... So, yeah, there is... Baron Zemo's... Weird old little helicopter thing. I'm a bobber. So, alright, I don't know what happened with the... Camera there, but... I'm not going to use these horses with the actual right people because there's an achievement for it. And I'm going to wait until uh, I do separate videos because I'm going to do separate videos for all of these. Uh, but here is Ellen Deal, which should be one of the horses for, uh, yeah, for the Black Knights. So I'm not going to lie, this is kind of cool. And it flies. Then we'll check out the other horse. Again, you get an achievement for using them with their proper um, Black Knight. So here's Valinor, which I don't understand what's the difference. Uh, there's really minimal difference between the two. Like, one's black and one's, like, brown. So, there you go. There is the Masters of Evil pack. Got some really cool characters. I'm going to play the level here shortly. Um, but we are looking pretty dope with Baron Zemo, Radioactive Man, Whirlwind, Enchantress... Um, I, I hope you guys enjoy checking these characters out and I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on the DLC and, uh, we'll catch you later. See ya.